today we are going to talk about the secret of favor it's the secret of favor when we see favor taking place in the life of people what are the secrets behind those things because everything in life has secrets and secret is the power of life today we are going to talk about secret of favor i know there are different ways people get favor satan can favor a man and god can also favor a man that is why i don't want to use any earthly human being to give an example of my today ministration i want to use people in the bible that the bible have already proved that god was the one that prospered them we are going to use them for an example today subscribe or follow depends the place you are watching me right now god bless you so that you can be receiving all my updates what is the secret of favor favor has secrets what is the secret of favor all the people in the bible we are seeing we are seeing mighty things taking place in the life of people what is the secret behind what is happening to them there is that proverb that said that it's better to teach a man how to get a fish than to give him fish because if you teach him how to get a fish he don't need you to survive he will be getting fish by himself at all time so what is the secret of favor we are going to discuss today i want to start from the life of a brother called joseph in the bible the lord revealed to joseph the visions god showed him the mighty things he will do in his life and jo joseph woke up from his dream he don't know how those things will come to pass i begin to receive different tracks from different churches very meaningful churches and they, they tag the team of the program from prison to palace sometimes i receive trust from different individuals different wonderful churches they tag their program uh, from prisoner to prime minister is talking about a man called joseph and that is why i want to use joseph today to explain the secret behind the favor the lord showed to joseph joseph was a man that served god in spirit and in truth that the lord revealed vision to him he woke up it was in a dream without knowing how those things will come to pass and the bible made us understand that one day his brethren his brothers decided to sell him they sold joseph and the ishmaelite bought him and the man took him to his country and had to resold him to potiphar potiphar bought it from his hand and the bible said that one day joseph came a counter temptation and some people call it favor but it's not favor because he came a counter temptation the vice president wife Potiphar, because Potiphar was second in command, that is to say, vice president of this our modern days. So the vice president's wife fell in love with him and said, Please, I love you more than my husband. Come and sleep with me. And every one of us know the kind of favor, the kind of material things, the kind of the kind of money or something or position he will receive at the end, being a, being a fiancé to vice president's wife. You know what he will get in return. But Joseph said, how can I do this wickedness and sin against God? Which means that thing that some people call favor is not favor. Because Joseph decided to reject those things and say, this one is wickedness. How can I sin against God? And the Bible made us to understand that because of that, Joseph was jailed. The woman decided to lay allegation on him. He was jailed. And that is no problem. Joseph was in a prison yard. Joseph spent his many years in the prison. Now the Bible did not tell us the number of years Joseph spent in the prison. Maybe for the soul of many people not to go, not to grow weak. And then after that, Joseph stayed in the prison yard for many days. After explaining the dream to two people in the prison yard, he said to them, "Please, when you come out, remember me." And these people came out; they forgot him. And the Bible now told us that they came out, they forgot Joseph for more two years. And after that, the Lord decided to give Pharaoh dream that made Joseph to be released from the prison. We now see the kind of favor, the kind of thing that happened to Joseph before God brought him to a place of favor. 
So what is the secret that made Joseph to be blessed? Is a secret of faithfulness and the fear of God. Faithfulness to God and the fear of God. Because the pot Potiphar was not there, if Joseph slept with his wife, he wouldn't know. He would not be able to know that anything happened. But Joseph said, because of the fear of God in him, and because he is he was faithful to God, he said, How can I do this wickedness and sin against God? So when we are gathering people in the church, gathering people in different programs, tightening a message from prison to palace, from pal from prisoner to prime minister. We have to let them to understand that we did not just come by attending programs. From prison to palace will never happen because a man just attend program or because a man just attend a service or because a man attended one particular meeting in the church or sometimes they say, oh, after this program, the Lord will take you to palace. I believe miracle. I believe God. But we must understand it that the secret behind all the favor that joseph experienced was faithfulness that in fact he had to endure for many times for a long time for that favor to be activated faithfulness unto god and the fear of god any man that have that is faithful to god any man that can that is that is faithful to god any man that have fear of god in him we activate favor of god a man that have fear of God inside him will naturally activate that favor of God. So if you need a favor of God, just like Joseph experienced it, you have to be faithful to God. You have to have fear of God in you. Even another brothers in the Bible called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were promoted in the kingdom. And we know what they went through. Faithfulness and fear of God also was the secret of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego promotion in the kingdom. They said, how can we bow down to a molten image? That is fear of God. We cannot bow down to a molten image. We choose to die. That is fear of God. And they say, oh, even though we die inside fire, we don't care. That is faithfulness. They say, oh, we must remain faithful to God. We must obey what God said. We will not do because of anything that is happening to us and decided to sin against God. We will not allow my situation to make me to sin against God. Neither will I do because of what I am going through and I sin against God. I must be faithful even when people are laughing at me, when people are mocking me, I must be faithful. These kind of people are the ones that activate that favor. Naturally, they activate the favor of God. A man can activate this favor when you understand the power of faithfulness and the power of fear of God. If you can fear God and you are faithful to God, you will supernaturally activate favor of God. I am praying that the Lord God Almighty will give you favor. You will be faithful to God. This secret of favor, oh, receive it. Receive that two secret of favor, faithfulness to God and the fear of God. It will take you to any level you did not imagine. It will take you to a height beyond your expectation. This faithfulness and fear of God will pay you all the days of your life. I am praying for you right now that anywhere you have been compromising, anywhere life is have been shaking you, sometimes you are faithful, sometimes you fell from faith. Oh, today receive grace to be ever faithful to God. In the name of Jesus, receive grace to be faithful to God. In the name of Jesus, when you are faithful to God, the Lord will supernaturally activate the dimension of favor in your life. May the blessings of God rest upon you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my Facebook. See you next time and bye for now.